Hey guys, I Jarvis here from Firewatch Gaming, and today I got a tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna be showing you how to use Multi MC. It's a um multiple Minecraft package. Um, dot Minecraft just allows you to have multiple Minecraft things. So um, when you download it, I'll put a download link in the description. Um, but when you download it, you'll be you have this screen now. You can use it like this, but I prefer so. Obviously, you won't have those. They're just my personal things. Um, so you go on settings here, and you go to fancy. Uh, yes, you just have to do a restart, yeah, and it just makes it a bit easier to things. So for this, I'll do a test. Just loading version list. Okay, we'll call this test. This allows you to have any version, um, so to the latest snapshot, uh, all the way, uh, show MC Nostalgia, and it lets you go back to, all the way back to Alpha. So, I guess if you really wanted to have a go at, um, some of the old Minecrafts, so that's gonna be good, so, but just for this one, we'll just do the current version, 1.4.7. Yep, so, okay. So here you've got um, all these things, so you can cha change icons. So let's change it to, for the sake of it, a, a diamond. So you can change like that. You can manage saves. Uh, view the actual dot .minecraft once it eventually loads. Yep. Uh, rebuild the jar, change the version. Uh, all that stuff, rename, but a very nice thing to have, so, uh, is this, you go on edit mods, and you can, so for now, I'm just going to save the hassle, I'm just going to MC Forge, and this will just load a list of the latest Forge versions, so again, latest version, 1.4.7, okay, and that's just going to do its thing for a second. There we go, and yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. So now we'll go. So now you hit play, and um, I've already got it set with all that stuff. So you hit OK, and the little stuff. Hopefully, it won't take too long to download. Loading, loading, loading. Fortunately, uh, living in Australia, we've got one of the slowest internet connections, like country-wise, not us personally, but we've got like one of the worst internet connections in a first world country, so fortunately this takes a bit longer than it would have for anybody out there who's living in another part of the world who's got some better internet, but um, yeah, it's not that bad. Yep, there we go. So we're loading, loading, loading. It's gonna ever decide to load. Yep, there we go. Let's do a bit of this. Yeah, so um, you can see I've got ah, oh, it's just when I was um doing my mod making. So you got Forge Mod Loader and Forge itself. So another quite nice feature is here. It's got a log. So say if Minecraft's completely frozen, save going into the Task Manager, you can just kill Minecraft. Uh, yeah, it's like kill it. And it just does that, so close. I'm back here. Another thing, um, by default, the Java engine is allocated half your RAM as maximum. So, because I've got four gig, I've actually already set this up. But, um, oh, you can set default window. So in Java, you can allocate more memory because I've um, I've allocated it. So it's got um, 
So, um, uh, like, memory, uh, doesn't work just, it's not in thousands, it's, uh, i uh, try and remember, 1,024, 2,048, and it won't be an exact, exact amount, but that's the safest, so, if, you're going to, if you don't know how much RAM you've got, if you're not control panel, you go to computer, and you go to, actually I've got a lot of hard drives, they're actually just partitions, but some if you go to properties, go up here, and it'll tell you that I've got... 4 gig of RAM and a 64 bit, and that gives you your processor and all that guff. So, if you don't know, that's how you set, so you can set to give Minecraft more memory, which will really help them speed it up. So, yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed this. So, uh, till next time, happy gaming.